I've made my copper whistle now. This is the body. It's inch and a half copper pipe. Got the mouth cut in it there. And I've got my brass plate in there. It's actually called a languid. I've been studying pipe organs to learn more about how these things operate. So I'm learning some of the terms. And then the gap at the mouth right here is called the aperture. It's like a term used for camera lens opening. And see in the bottom there, I don't know if you could see the aperture or not. I've got the languid JB welded in there. A little bead around the top and the bottom except where the aperture is. And I have a piece of 1 8 brass pipe nipple going where this hole is because that's how I'm going to fasten it. The bottom fastening point will be a screw going through this hole and that's to make it rigid here and also so I won't lose air through there. You need volume. You got to move a lot of air through and that's regulated by the size of this aperture. If it's too big it's going to take more air to operate it. Of course it'll be louder too. And the more air you have available and higher pressure then the higher you can cut this mouth up. So everything's kind of a balance and that's why you it takes some experimenting to find all the right combination. I want this to operate on not a lot of volume and not a lot of pressure. I'm not looking for excessive loudness. I just want it to sound good. I want to be able to operate it with my hand pump. So now I've got a cap here. My upper mounting point is got a stainless steel angle bracket bolted onto the cap. A stainless bolt that will go on the top. The lower piece, this is a half, one and a half to half inch copper pipe adapter. Got it fastened onto a T with a sort short section of a half inch copper pipe. Then I have a piece of half inch copper pipe here. This is where I'll clamp the hose onto it to is connected to the piece coming through the front of the pilot house and I have this little drain on the bottom here so I can drain any moisture that collects and when it's raining I'll just open this up let water run out because water will get into here now I'll go on here of the whistle I got this little piece of teak saddle that I made. Go in there like that to mount the bottom and that's how it'll mount on the bulkhead. Also been working on my hand pump. This is a foot and a half of three inch PVC. And this is the bottom piece. This is a PVC cap and I have a flapper valve in there. This will be the intake. On the top I have a it's a brass pipe adapter going from a half inch to eighth inch and I bored it out. My plunger is 716 so I've drilled through here with a 716 drill. It'll be a guide bushing for the plunger. And then this is the plunger, stainless steel, 716 threaded on the end. I got a ground down bolt drawn up on it there. And then I have these two discs of stainless. This one is slightly less than three inches. That'll go on top. That one slides down easily through the tube. And this one is two and three quarter inches. This will go underneath and sandwich between those. I made this leather cup. I have my whistle all together. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I really like the sound.
sound of this. It's going to sound good on the boat. Got my pump together. I soaked the leather cup in uh, the oil for three days and, and got it clamped in between those two washers with a nut on the end of this plunger shaft. And I used a little uh, thread locker on it to make sure it doesn't come come off inside. And uh, I've got three holes, three half inch holes in the top here so that when I lift it up it'll let the air in and out of this upper chamber because this just goes along for the ride. The, what really compresses is the lower chamber. And I had to get rid of that flapper valve. It actually worked but the flapper valve wouldn't seal properly and I was losing between a third and half of my air out through the flapper valve. I even added some weight on it. I glued some washers on it and that helped a little but not really it was really wouldn't seal very much so what I did I put a I tapped and glued a bronze fitting in here to go into half inch pipe I glued it in with the JB weld and I put a check valve it's a flapper check valve gravity gravity closed it aimed down and I wasn't sure if the vacuum would lift it up but it actually does and it works pretty good now I've got my output here now I've got my stainless steel bracket so I can bolt this to the bulkhead and it actually works pretty good. This horn that uh, I made from uh, the plans I got in this book that fell on YouTube that built the PVC horns, Dozer Boy Miller, he came up with a new video of a bigger horn. Well, it sounded really good. It has that deep, far away sound of a ship horn. And the sound of that horn kept haunting me. So I actually went and measured the distance and found out oh, I have five inches there. It looked funny. Would it look like a horn with a boat on it rather than a boat with a horn on it? Uh, would I be able to operate it with the, the hand pump? Would it use too much air? And uh, so there's really only one way to answer these questions. And, uh, I have to build it. <laughs>